Good morning, everybody. We are back again. Today, we are doing the last round of male corn plantings. Here's the female, just starting to pop up a little bit. Look at little guys. Head back, get the 8400, and get this stuff rolling. Up. Farm managers. Yep, look at them. They never stop managing. GDOPs, greatest dogs on planet. Everybody's dogs. Not just ours, everybody's. Oh, little Aaron! I'm not gonna mention his name, but he was checking the oil on a tractor and he said, if you don't want your mom to, or your wife to get you in trouble, he <laughs> rolled up his pant leg and did it there. But I just go like this, put it in my knee pit, pull it out, then kind of rub it in a little bit. And someone will just think you've got some oil on your back of your pant leg, because. If it's up underneath the cuff of your leg, it's like, man, how'd oil get there? That's kind of a tough spot. Yeah, let's let's put a little bit in there. The tractor's been working hard. So if anyone might be wondering about this 8400, you know, it's a late 90s tractor. If you've watched the equipment tour, you know we bought it with 451 hours back in 2013 time frame. We've used it for eight, nine years already. Here's a look at the hour meter. 2,900 original hours on a John Deere 8400. Please comment below what you think this tractor is worth in today's market. At the time, we gave a lot for it, but as you remember, 2012, 13, 14, Everybody was buying tractors, but everybody was buying 8R tractors because it was the new thing, new and improved. People were just going out and buying 8Rs like crazy. Not us. We went and bought a low houred 8400, an already 15 plus year old tractor. We're still running it and it's got 200 and you know 50 horsepower. It's a little tank. They're super easy uh, work on and they're great tractors. So. I don't think we've regretted it. There's only one thing I wish that it had. That was ILS suspension and front duels. Just a little better on the grain cart, but overall it's a really nice tractor and it's it's been great. Finally not so much in the rush of things. I'm gonna take a moment here and sweep out the cap. It's pretty dirty. <laughs> it's just a little more comfortable and appeasing. <sighs> That's better. Be free, be free. Man Family Farms, car side, fuel service. Yeah. Never leave door open when fueling, and that's about or about. Got the tractor in the field, gonna get filled up. Hammer down. Out here, same old song and dance. This is the second delay on this farm. I'm going back over my wheel tracks and the corn. Yep, just starting to poke up as you saw. After I'm done here, that will officially be done with this farm. We won't have to come back and we actually won't have to touch it ever again, which is actually really nice. So if you don't know how seed corn works, you know, the farmer's responsible for planting it whether it's uh, one time, two times, in this case, three times. After that, harvest, we don't touch it whatsoever. The company that we grow for, they have crews that come in. Usually they're other farmers who run their pickers. They'll come in and pick it and we don't, we don't do anything. We don't have to be a grain cart driver for them or uh, nothing like that. They take it to their plant 
theirs, they deal with it. It may be a little more stressful in the spring planting it, but we don't have to touch it in the fall. We don't have to handle it in the fall. And the best thing is we don't have to store it in the fall. It's really a, a win win situation in our opinion. We feel like it's worth it. And then I is watching me. Two white pickups look like corporate observers. No, nah, it's just Badger and Bucky. Little Badger and Bucky action. That's all it is. We're done with mail for these two farms. We'll finish the big one over there, 220, and just finish up this 40. All we got left for mail and planting is 160 acres of mail. Just right right over there, right next to this farm. Touch fences. That'll technically probably hit tomorrow. Looks to me like it's going to rain. So we'll see what happens. Might be able to spike it in tomorrow morning. But we're gonna take the tractor back to the shop just in case. Catch ya later, alligator. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, hey, found a little mud yesterday. Sure did. She's good. Here we go. We're going to put in the last mail today. It is May 24th. Wow. If everything goes well and we get this knocked out, that will officially mark plant 22 in the books. Hopefully we can beat the rain. Official last pass of 2022. Mail rose. Look at that. Look at the flags. The finish line. Three, two, one, and done. We are done. We are officially done with plant 22. Done. Over with. Done. Now, we just hope we don't have to replant anything, which I don't think we do. Everything's looking pretty good. The weather looks great. We're supposed to get a little rain shower today. Keep adding fuel to the fire. Well, 
now that we're done planting, back, back to the fun stuff. Uh, moving corn. This month we had a, a decent amount going, not a whole lot. We thought we'd been done planting, you know, May 10th, and we'd have all this time to move corn, but here we are, May 24th. Devin's just been hauling corn the past two days. Back to the daily grind. Now that we're done planting, you know, start thinking about things coming up. First and foremost, on the priority. Like I just said, moving corn, get the corn hold. Next up would be getting everything cleaned up, washed up, put away. And after that, it's time to start cutting some hay, mowing waterways and baling. Can't wait. Good change of pace, pitter patter. There we go, all the boxes off, blew it off. She's about ready. I'll get the other boxes on the 12 row and we can put that bad boy away. This will be two things, two things done and over with just about. <laughs> 